Okay, so cells is divided into two main types of cells. So what are the two areas of cells that is being divided into? That one is your animal cells and your plant cells. Okay, so just let me write it out here. So you will have animal cells and plant cells. So animal cells, they are made up of different things within them. Okay, so what are the things that are made up within them is what we call the organelles. So organelles are all the components that you see over here and it's present as mentioned earlier on in both your plant cells and animal cells. Okay, so the brain of the entire cell is the nucleus which is the extremely round thing that you see. Okay, it is the largest organelle in the entire cell itself. So what is the purpose of the nucleus since it acts as the brain of the cell it will control the cell's activities, how big the cell goes, whether it is time to replenish itself, to grow itself again, etc. Okay, so it is extremely important not only due to these aspects but also because of the presence of DNA, okay, which is the genotype, which is actually the genetics that we have in our body. Okay, what makes us who we are? So being an extremely important aspect, the nucleus itself is enclosed or wrapped around, protected by the nuclear envelope. Okay. So similarly, the cell itself is also important. So for the cell, it is comprised of the cell membrane or otherwise known as the plasma membrane. Okay. Now for lower set, you don't have to really understand what it means by liquid by layer. And having the proteins being embedded in it so that is more for IP when we go deeper into it okay, so the cell of course being important uh, containing all these different organelles it cannot afford to allow any other substances to come in randomly so it will have to select what type of substances come in and therefore we call it selectively permeable okay, selectively permeable means it is only permeable or other words in, uh, allows entry into some components only okay so inside the cell the you have all these organelles okay look at where my cursor is so all these organelles they are floating in the cell so which means that it requires to have some form of fluid okay and this fluid is point number four which is the cytoplasm okay so the cytoplasm take note this is a common question it is the site of most chemical activities in the cell Okay, now take note of this. Okay, so in order for the cell to provide energy, it has need to require energy for the cell itself. So what or where it produces the energy is number five, which is the mitochondria. Okay, so some schools they will use um, this term which is called ATP. ATP is the energy currency of cells. Okay, so for example, when you're staying in Singapore, you're using Sing dollars. If you are in the US, you'll be using US dollars. Okay, so similarly in the cell, the cell uses ATP as the energy currency. Okay, so look for mitochondria in the diagram that you have here. So look at my cursor. So you have got mitochondrion over here. So mitochondrion is the singular term. Okay, so take note in the exams, if the arrow is pointing to only one of this you have to label it as mitochondrion okay plural is mitochondria okay point number five mitochondria if you had labeled it as mitochondria your teacher will mark it wrong all right so mitochondrion when you look at the shape it is actually very distinctive okay it looks like a peanut shape okay all the peanuts that you eat and it has got double layer membrane within it which is depicted by this structure it is the only one in the cell that looks like that okay. so when there are excess food or substances in the cell it is stored in the vacuole point number six okay so difference between plant cell and animal cells animal cells will have all these components one to six okay which is also included in the plant cell now the differences we will look at the plant cell later Okay, one other difference is when you look at the vacuole in the plant cell, it is extremely big. 
Okay, so why is that so? Now, humans, mammals, living things, except for plants, they are able to go around looking for food substances. So, which means they don't really have to store food as much. Alright, so plants, on the other hand, they are more stationary. Okay, so which means they will have to synthesize as much food as they possibly can. Not only for themselves, for storage, but also for other animals or humans that actually consume these plant materials. So moving on, okay, so these aspects are for the IP students. So we have got RER, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth ER, Golgi apparatus, and ribosomes. Okay, so the purpose of all of this is actually to synthesize proteins. Okay, so SER is the only difference area. Okay, so which, why? Because it is synthesized for steroids and hormones components. Okay, it is also the site of detoxification. So two things. So which means in, um, for example, in organs such as the liver. Okay, so the liver is a main component for detoxification. So whatever medications that you take, toxins that you take in through the day, even the air that you breathe, which is polluted, okay, mostly, it will all go to the liver for detoxifying so which is why the liver has very large quantities of your SER simply due to the fact that it has to detoxify okay so ribosomes they are made for protein synthesis so free ribosomes or attached ribosomes they are both made for photo uh, for protein synthesis the difference is that for free ribosomes okay these are for proteins meant for in the cell Okay, which means they will generate proteins that are meant to be used within the cell. Whereas for those that are attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum point number 7, okay, so these proteins, once they are synthesized, they will then be transported to the Golgi apparatus. Okay, so once it goes into the Golgi apparatus for modification, okay, it will be packaged into vesicles. All right. So after packaging them into vesicles, they will then be transported out of the cell depending on the area that they are supposed to enter or go in. Okay, so let me just write down what is being mentioned for the ribosome part. Okay, so you have got ribosomes on the RER. So once it is synthesized here, it will then enter into the Golgi itself. Okay, so once it is go uh, from the Golgi, it will be sent to the vesicles, and from the vesicles, it will be transported out of the cell itself. Okay, so some schools they start introducing this word, transportation out of cell. It has got a biological word for it, which is called exocytosis. Okay, if your school does not use this yet for lower sec, you can put it aside first, just in case you see it.